I have in my hand the Lemco uh, HCL804CT digital head end. Basically the idea is, is to take in up to eight um, separate HDMI feeds and convert them over to a DVB-T or a cable or indeed an IP output and be able to circulate um, a combined signal to multiple TVs. So really what you're trying to do is you're trying to send out a DVB-T, so something equivalent to either a Serview HD or a Freeview HD signal um, uh, with supporting high definition and uh, sending it down to multiple televisions. So it's a really, really clever device. It's available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie and we're shooting a series of videos um, to cover this uh, piece of kit. Now it's a really high-end piece of kit. Uh, Lemco have a really great reputation in the end of um, uh, modulators and particularly complicated modulators on it. Now the alternative to using something like this would be if you wanted to we'll say send something like a sky um, HD signal around a hotel, a house, something like that. What you do is a single modulator combining in as a DVB-T signal and add it in and you can actually loop normally modulators like that. But uh, with this one here is what it's saying, it's a very neat solution in terms of you have eight set-top boxes all being fed in and then fed out as a single output. So I'm going to cover exactly um, uh, the inputs and outputs on this, uh, the different options on it, and in the later videos what we'll actually do is we'll set it up, get it working here, and we'll talk a little bit about the interface on it, etc. The box it comes on, this is the outer box on it. So the first thing you notice, this is not really aimed at retail customers, because this is a high-end, extremely professional piece of kit. Okay. Um, there's a, a, a power lead that comes with it here, so um, you can get it with European or UK, so we're obviously supplying them mainly into the Irish and UK market, so it's coming with a three pin plug. And then we'll just look at the input side on it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to talk about, this is where we put our power in, we have a power on off switch here, and each of our eight HDMI boxes, we can use one to eight along here, and basically we just have um, a numbering system here, it's represented there and there. So you can imagine, we'll say, we have a series of high definition free to air receivers, sky boxes, DVD players, etc. And it's all being fed directly in. And in terms of how the signal is being combined, well, what we're seeing here is that um, it has a, a total of four different frequencies being broadcast out here. And what each of them will cover up to two channels. So you'll see this, we'll say, if you looked at a free view or serve view MUX. Uh, there'll be multiple channels on the same frequencies. So, you know, it's not overly packing them by going two channels on it. And uh, what uh, it's giving us the ability is to have up to eight channels being fed directly out. Uh, we'll say all from HDI inputs. And if we come along here, what we'll see is that we have our RF output. So this is the DVB-T or indeed the cable output here. And we can see that we could feed this into our existing distribution system. So up to eight channels could be fed directly from this. But if we came along and we took a, a Serview or a Freeview aerial and ran in our channels, so in, in the case of Serview here in Ireland, it'd be about eight channels, or in Freeview in the UK, it'd be multiple of this, maybe 20, 30, 40 channels. You can actually feed this directly in, combine it in with the DVB-T signals from the satellite connections, normally, through the HDMI, and feed it out and have them all as a single head end being distributed um, out directly from it. If we also look here that we have uh, an Ethernet port on it here, and what we can do is we can output this as um, an IP signal as well. So if we had an IP network set up, we can actually have all the channels just and pushed out through it, and we can use this as a head end in that manner. And that's very, very impressive in terms of how, how that can work as well. Uh, what we have here is we just have our LAN connection, where we'll just uh, connect this to our PC, and what we'll be able to do then is the interface here when we're setting out what our initial um, output frequency is going to be, uh, and some settings like that. So there's actually some quite good tools that come with it in relation to that, and we have them all nicely set up. So I think this is a really super thing. Uh, basically what you're doing here is you're creating a head end and a very, very neat solution where you're setting everything up here and you're not uh, daisy chain loads and loads of cables. So if you're mounting this in a rack, something like that, you've got to get a really neat thing on it. I just think it sits incredibly well with the range of modulators we have already. Like it's a hugely successful product for us, simply because there's been a massive move away from analog over to digital. What people are looking for now is neat high definition solutions. So if you were imagining running the output from multiple boxes here, the other way of doing it is you might do it through a matrix with multiple HDMI leads, things like this, or over Cat5 cables, all the rest of it. But actually convert all of the high definition signals 
put them into a DVB-T signal and then allow them to be distributed to, you know, you could send us hundreds and hundreds of TVs and you have high definition picture all the way through. Effectively, each of the channels on this is becoming just another stair view or free view high definition channel. So um, that's the first in our series of videos. Uh, click onto the later videos just to see it in action and the different interfaces, etc. So an overview of the Lemco HCL 804 CT digital head end.